I'm surrounded by golden aspens in Golden Gate Park, State Park. And I can't help but want to share the story of how I got here because I'm completely baffled myself at the way all the chaos led to like literally this moment. Um, it kind of goes back to last night. I don't know why, but before going out to be a model in my friend's fashion show, not knowing what the night had in store, I threw into my wallet my debit card, my driver's license, and $7. Like $7 is so random, right? I don't know if I thought maybe I'd be tipping for something, who knows? So then as the night progresses, I end up buying the dress that I'm modeling and decide I wanna go out and like just be fun. I have these kick-ass shoes on, I have a flirty dress on, and I had this vision of what I wanted, which meant like a patio with people to meet intuitively, you know? And instead I end up jumping in the car with a friend and going to a speakeasy that's like underground, sitting in a booth in a corner with her coworkers. Like absolutely not what I wanted at all. And I felt it, you know, and I was in this space of, okay, just surrender. This is what your night is. You're going to be drinking more and eating more, which really isn't what you wanted, but you're with your friends but my body was literally like viscerally responding to, to knowing I didn't want to be where I wanted to be. And I, I just blurted out like, you guys, I got to go. I was hot and I had a headache and uh, I just decided to call an Uber and call tonight. And so I was asking, you know, what do I owe? And they were like, oh, you don't know anything. You only had one drink. Like, don't worry about it. And, you know, I wanted to uh, include a tip. So I thought about throwing my cash down, but I didn't. And so instead I just said, thank you. And called a cab, called a, not called a cab, called an Uber and went home. So fast forward till today. And I had invited another friend who lives in Boulder, who's been going through some stuff. If he wanted to go for a hike and go catch some colors, because as you can see, like everything is in bloom and it's only going to last for a little bit of time before it starts getting cold and everything falls. And I just kind of waited around all morning to see when he was coming down. And then it was through text messaging. He said, oh, I'm picking up some friends. I'm running late. So I thought, oh, I didn't know friends were coming. Like I was looking forward to just having a conversation with this person I already knew, not meeting new people because I do that all the time. And that just wasn't how I felt like spending my Sunday. Not that these people might not be nice. It's just not what I was creating when I invited him to go for a hike. So then he gets to my house or texts me that he's on his way. And right as I walk out my door, the people that were borrowing the car that I normally have access to, if it's not being turrowed, were in the moment of returning the key. Now, I never see the people when they return their keys. I don't even know who rents these cars. So because I walked out when I did, I knew the car was returned four hours earlier. Um which meant, oh, I have freedom in a vehicle if I need it. But I didn't need it because I was going to jump in the car with my friend and go for a hike. So he gets to my house and there's this couple wearing, you know, their Bronco gear, they're in football mode, whatever. And he's like, hey, we're not going to go for a hike. We're going to go do brunch. And they have mimosas at Lucille's. And then we'll end up you know, going to find some color later. And I'm dressed in hiking clothes, full intention on hiking. I've already eaten. I made coffee in my, you know, I made my own French press coffee. I didn't, I didn't need anything. And I just thought to myself, why didn't he ask me if I was even hungry? And so I looked at him and I go, you know, this isn't what I had in mind. And he's like, oh, just come on, go with the flow. Like come with us to the restaurant and just hang out. And I thought, yeah, but this is your flow, not my flow. This this wasn't what I wanted to do today. And so I, but I go to the restaurant with them, which is ends up being walking distance from my house, like not far. And I'm sitting there and that same feeling comes over me again, where I'm like, I don't want to be here. This isn't this, this isn't what I want, how I want to be spending my time. And it's not about being selfish. It's just about my knowing, like, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I looked at him and I'm like, listen, I got to go because 
I just want to be in nature and I just want to go for a hike. And, you know, he said he thought it was kind of rude. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I think it's kind of rude. You didn't ask me if I was hungry and wanted brunch, but agree to disagree. And so I left and just started crying. And um, I was crying because I felt like my body pushing me to literally be in the space of doing what I knew I wanted to do, even though it was saying no to other people. And this was now the second time it had shown up in less than 12 hours. So because I walked outside when I did and knew the car was returned early, because other than that, I literally would have no clue there was a key in the lockbox. I was able to change shirts, put on something I knew I really wanted to be hiking in, and, um, and, and figure out like where to go. Well, as soon as I walk in, that's when my friend from last night who had my backpack decided to sh come over and drop it off because um, I had left it in her car after the fashion show. And so then I proceeded to tell her kind of what was going on. And I said, all I want is some color. And I go, I wish I knew exactly where to go find it. And she's like, oh, my friend just posted some pictures online of wherever at Golden Gate Park. And I was like, oh, I never would have thought to go there. But in my head, I thought I'm going to Idaho Springs. And so I get in the car and I just start driving. Um, and I find myself heading towards Idaho Springs and I actually see, I see numbers that tell me if I'm going in the right way. And I see my number that's telling me I'm not going in the right way, which is a whole other story I can go into later, but I just ignore it. And the more I drive, I'm starting to see traffic coming from the other direction. And I think to myself, I know there's color at Golden Gate Park. So why aren't I going there? A friend just showed up as almost like a sign to direct me there. And immediately I just turn off the road and turn around and start driving a completely different direction. So in this moment, I end up going off-roading, almost missing the turn that I would have needed to take to get to where I am right now. But it didn't matter because this off-roading was freaking beautiful and it's a space I've never driven through because my Jetta would have never let me. So I'm in my friend's Jeep and I get to experience Colorado in this whole new way, right? Then I decide, okay, it's time to head towards where I know the hiking is happening. And I pull up having no clue that it's a paid park in a paid lot. And what does it cost? It's cash only and it's $7. And here I am. That's all I had in my wallet. It's all connected, guys. It's hard to explain. You just got to trust.